Hello everyone, my name is Phelan Wolf. Today I will be telling you about a piece of art that myself and my group have been working to perfect over the last semester. It all started when we read chapter six of Great Feuds in Science. This particular chapter was about a man named William Thompson, also known as Lord Calvin who had a debate with another scientist about the age of the earth. We were particularly interested in this, so we did some more research about Lord Kelvin and came to find out this man had over 70 patents in his name. He was quoted as a successful scientist, teacher, engineer, and businessman. It was so clear to us that Lord Kelvin was an incredibly influential man, and we needed to share this. So we made a little movie for you today. If you only remember one thing from today, I want you to remember this main point. Lord Calvin was an incredibly influential man. Now let me share a few sneak peeks with you that will show you just how influential he is. Then I will bring it home and reveal to you the long awaited opening night premiere We start 154 years ago. It is the year 1866. Trade between the US and Europe is booming, but not fast enough. The US had been using telegraphs to improve their business and everyday life for 20 years now. And it was time they expanded that communication to other continents. On board the largest ship yet in the US, the Great Eastern, 500 men, 8,000 tons of coal and over 2,700 miles of cable are sailing into the Atlantic Ocean to lay down the first transatlantic cable. This was the fifth attempt. The last had ended in it snapping and falling to the bottom of the ocean floor, but this time was different. A man named Lord Calvin was on board and had engineered the new cable's design. After days of hard work, it was a success. Not only did the crew succeed in laying fresh cable, they also recovered the cable from the year prior and attached it to a new portion. Communication between the US and Europe will now be much easier and much faster. Jump forward 15 years. It is now 1880. You are a fisherman navigating your crew and boat through a storm. is never ending. Suddenly, a man on your crew comes up behind you. Sir, try my new compass. It's supposed to be the best. As you take this compass out of your sailor's hands, you read the name Lord Calvin in tiny letters on the bottom. Yes, it is clearly pointing north. You finally guide your crew out of the storm. Where would you go? If Lord Calvin had not contributed to science, teaching, engineering, or business, where would our world be today? Lord Calvin is truly an influential man. Thank you.